Welcome back to Living Local. For most of us, having access to clean, safe drinking water isn't something we have to worry about. But for a billion of the world's most vulnerable people, it's a daily life-threatening crisis. One local nonprofit is committed to providing wells to some of the most impoverished communities in Africa. Joining us via Zoom today is Pat Harris. She is the executive director and founder of Wells for Wellness. Pat, so great to see you. Oh, good to see you too. So tell us, what does Wells for Wellness do? Well, we drill wells in the poorest country in the world um, and in the Sahara Desert mm -hmm. and uh, for the impoverished people, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, Pat, how did Wells for Wellness get started? Well, I went on a medical mission in Cambodia and they taped us and we put in five wells. And so my friends said, what are you doing in Cambodia? They're not poor like Niger, you need to come here. So I went there and we said, you're right. And so I went home and started our own 501c3 and that's how it began in 2009. Oh, incredible. Now, Pat, we are living in a virtual world, clearly, but your organization physically drills wells in Africa. So how did you navigate 2020 with the restrictions and limitations due to the pandemic? It was amazing. Um, we started out our three days before our event. It was canceled. Mm -hmm. So um, my kids are very technoid, so they put it on, I think, probably the first Zoom, Premiere, Google, or whatever, and we had a documentary. Mm -hmm. So we played that, and it went international. So we did very well, and we were able to put in 20 wells in 2020. We came about, we had 19, we sent out another newsletter, saying, let's do 20 in 2020. And so we are so excited that we have managed to do that. So that means thousands of people in this year now have fresh, clean drinking water. Oh my goodness, 20 wells in 2020, that is beautiful. <laughs> now, Pat, it can be very difficult for many of us to imagine a lifestyle without clean, safe drinking water at our fingertips. So what challenges does this create for so many people living in Africa? Well, uh, most of the people walk five miles twice a day to find, to look and hunt for water. And when they find water, it's already shared by cow species. Mm -hmm. So um, it's so difficult. You just can't even imagine. And the stories that I've heard, I wouldn't hardly believe it unless I had seen it myself. And I saw it many times. So with these wells, uh, so when they have the, when they get to the pond, it's contaminated with bacteria. And then not only do they die of that, but a lot of times they die of dehydration because it's 120 degrees in the Sahara Desert and it's so hot. And so it was so wonderful that they declared our drilling team as an essential business. Mm -hmm. And so we just kept drilling and I just kept sending the money and then they say, we did another one, we did another one. So we are so excited for the people of this year to have fresh, clean water. Absolutely. I cannot think of anything more essential than the work that you are doing. Uh, what can Thank you tell you. us about the documentary Bottom of the List and how it relates to the mission of Wells for Wellness and where folks can see that film? Okay, we went to Africa in November of last year and my son ended up doing a, uh, he worked in Hollywood and all those, so he did a professional uh, documentary. So it's 17 minutes long and it's only, and it's free and it's worth seeing. And you see all the work that we've done in the last 20 or 10 years and the people are just so exciting. So it really just capsulates. You can go to our website, wellsforwellness.com, push on the little boy's nose, and then um, you can see the documentary. And Pat, clearly you have done so much good work in the years that you've been operating as a nonprofit. What are your future plans for Wells for Wellness? Well, all of us are volunteers here at Wells for Wellness, and no one has taken a paycheck. So this year we'd love to be able to get a paid staff to be able to move us to the next direction and possibly a new website and um, you know there's just so many things to take us to that next level we've worked as hard as we can but we just want to keep going and our goal for last year was 10 wells we did 20 so we're going to go back 21 as 10 wells it's better to reach our goals and above than to go below so oh. That's what we're doing then. Um, the pictures behind me are a little fundraiser mm -hmm. and they're a hundred dollars a piece, but they're actual people. Their eyes are from the desert. Mm -hmm. And we think about this, it's $25 uh, a year to f support a family of four. So these are a hundred dollars, but one picture can do four families in the Sahara Desert. And also then you have a keepsake. So 
it's uh, just fun. And here's a picture of the bottom of the list, mm. the little guy that you need to blow, um, push on his nose and get to the video. Mm. <laughs> oh, stunning photographs. Uh, Pat, how can our community support the mission of Wells for Wellness? Well, you can go to the uh, website and donate, or you can send in a, um, on their PayPal, or you can send a check. Um, we just are so happy with the Quad Cities of helping us, just believing in me. I belong to an organization, AFP. They helped with so many classes, and we've just been able to keep pushing and never give up. And so we're just so happy with everyone that has been a part of this, because we could not do it without you. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much for the incredible work that you're doing and for taking the time to join us today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. If you would bye, like bye. Some, bye. If you would like some more information, you can go to wellsforwellness.com. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com.